And we're here at Firhill as Aki's look to avenge the embarrassment of the reverse fixture as we take on part at Thistle. Sean Wong comes into the team. Whether he's playing at right back or whether he's playing as part of the back three, like we don't know yet. We'll wait and see how that pans out. David Moyle's back from international duty, so he's straight back into the starting lineup, and it's a welcome return to Scott Martin. Now, obviously, the fear with Scott Martin is he picks up another injury. Is he ready to start a game? And then he's ends up being out for a longer period of time. Let's hope that's not the case, and he is fully fit and ready to get going because he's been a big miss in our midfield. I think this will be the same as the Wraith game. I reckon we'll get outplayed and we'll get bullied, I think. In my personal opinion, they obviously hope we're wrong. Let's hope Aki's can pull something off. It's about 30 minutes gone and the game's been totally fought in the middle of the pitch. Neither side have had a shot on target. Um, it's a very, very scrappy game. It's one of those games where it screams in the first half, at least the way this is going. The first goal wins, is how, is how it screams to me. But where that will change the second half, we don't know. Still get 20 minutes left, 25 minutes left of the first half. Still plenty can change, but very, very scrappy. Neither side, neither side kind of dominate the game yet. It's half time and it's Aki's now part of this now. The whole of the first half was as I described it in our update just there. Very scrappy, fought all of the middle of the park. Neither side with a clear cut chance. Look at the bench, I mean, there's very few changes you could make. Marley Redfair and Vertanen are there as well, but we're getting shut out. Really, that's the kind of that's the biggest bit about it. Is it's not great viewing so far, and again, I think it's going to be a case of whoever gets the first goal will probably going to win the game. Let's hope we can uh, we come out with a bit more dominance in the second half. We're getting on the ball, but like I said, we can get through the midfield and we can get past the defence. So we find ourselves passing along the back, then pumping a long ball up, which we've criticised the team for before under Martin Canning and Brian Rice, etc. So let's hope we change that second half. Let's hope we get the ball down on the deck and get playing. As I'm speaking, actually, Vertanen's going into the tunnel, so a pos possible change at half time. Maybe Scott Martin's only ever going to get 45 minutes, maybe. We'll see what happens there, but. Very, very scrappy. Let's hope we can just get that first goal and kind of plan ourselves in and control. There is part that make it one now. We get a corner and all of it spawns from us trying to play it for the back. Joe Houghton shits himself. He's under pressure, kicks the ball out of play. That then leads to a corner and they score for it. Such an easy free header, and we find ourselves one 0 down again. Kind of sums up sums up our season so far, isn't it? They should have had a penalty from where I was and it looks like Popescu dragged the striker down and they've just had an unbelievable shot cannon off the bar and down back onto the line and then out again. You need to see a replay to see if that was actually in, but ever since they've got the goal they've put the they've put the gas on and they've got and they've started dominating us, they've started pressuring us, and it's got us now into a situation where we're struggling just to stay in the game, never never mind to come back and get to get an equaliser. It's, not looking good for Akis. 98th minute and balls fell to the pesky at the edge of the box. Keepers no keepers no in these no in his goal and he's he tries to fucking loft it over everybody rather than just put his laces through it. This is a disgrace, man. Full time and it's part of one Hamilton now. I don't even know what to say about that game. I find myself week after week sitting with with all the Akis fans that go to the games. Kinda of lost for words, don't really know kind of what to say other than it was embarrassing again today this system that Stuart Taylor's trying to pull off and try to get to work is clearly not working we went through our period of playing well and we couldn't get results through it we went through our period of playing badly that we're in the now and we still can't get results out of it so something has to change and I think it needs to be this system that he's trying to implement we're sitting in the 90th minute chasing a game and he, we've still only got one up top Andy Ryan's getting played out wide. It just doesn't make sense. It doesn't work for me, and it's clearly not working on the park either. Aki's fans are getting more and more frustrated. The ones, the ones that are still going, are getting more and more frustrated and angry when they go to the games because our our attendance is dwindling, and obviously a lot of the stuff that's going on off the park plays a part in that. But what's going on on the park isn't exactly enticing for MD to go. It was clear as day that part of Thistle in that second half were going to push everything up against us because they knew if they put pressure on us that we would crumble and that's exactly what we did. Every time we played, we tried to play at the back, there was two, three men chasing the ball and that, that made us panic and that's exactly where their goal came from. The ball's played back to Hilton. He's got a man closing him down. He shits himself, plays it out the park. 
And it's from that throw in that they build their pressure and get their corner and then evidently their goal. So, you know, we're, as I said, it's, as I said last week against Wraith, it's getting harder and harder to convince myself, like a lot of Aki's fans, to even go to the games now. Never mind to do, obviously, everything else that only Aki's and that do at the games. You know, if you're looking ahead now, you're looking at Auckland Lake Talbot, you're looking at Dunfermline, eh, Kilmarnock, we're not going to get results off of these guys. Dunfermline won 3-0 the day. You know, they've got this new manager bounce, whatever you want to call it, but Yogi will get them playing well, and Yogi will get them tough to beat. That's what an Aki side should be. And we find ourselves now in a situation where we're looking down rather than up. You know, at the start of the season when fans mentioned double relegation, doing a Partick, doing a Falkirk, free falling down the leagues. I didn't believe them and actually if you go back and watch the first episode, I think Brandon brought it up and I kind of laughed. You know, I, I was like, it's not going to happen, that's, that's not going to happen. Genuinely we're at a situation now where I'm looking about who's coming up from below us and who we're trying to chase going forward, you know. And it's now written in the stars for Auckland Lake Talbot to pull off a shock result in the cup, although if an Aki fan was to put their house in Auckland Lake Talbot win, I don't think any Aki fan would disagree with them at this stage. We need to just get back to basics, as I've said before. Get back to basics and hopefully results will come.